Hey Z family, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Paco. It's your girl Stephanie. And we're back with another video. Sadly, uh, we're gonna react today to uh, our late, late president Makufuli. He deceased uh, yesterday. He was uh, having uh, health issues. Uh, before, but before before we get into it, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. No? Yeah, today it's not a good day. Uh, for us, for all the people of Africa, we are all in mourning. Yeah, so we're just gonna share with you guys um, our thoughts. That's correct. So yeah, like uh, we're gonna like uh, listen to his last speech that he made before he uh, he passed. So yeah, let's get to it. Yeah. So before I get into it, I'm just gonna say if you live in Tanzania. Uh, uh, we, my condolences. We are sorry for what's happening over there. You are in our prayers every day. Yeah, yeah Michael Foley was a great man. I believe uh, he didn't last that longer in uh, power, but the things he did in power for a short period of time was amazing. Wow. He actually inspired a lot of youth, African youth, uh, to think like a bulldozer, you know. So he was one of it, you know, a pit bull for sure. So, so much love. We're gonna get into this video. So let's go into it. Na viongozi mbalimbali wa dini, wa Islam na wa Zimku, hatujazuia kuvaa barakoa. Lakini tuwe waangalifu. Na ndio maana mnamwona hata wa Zimku hakuwa amevaa barakoa jana. Mnamwona makamu wa rais hajavaa barakoa sio kwamba hawaogopi kufa wote tunaogopa kufa lakini sio nao tunaamini kwamba Mungu yupo na tuwe waangalifu katika janga hili uh, Macfully uh, right there is talking about but of war it's a word in Swahili that, that means mask so Macfully was a man that was against coronavirus uh, he was no all about a corona thing in in, in the country in Tanzania so people were not mandatory to wear a mask and he was never wearing a mask because he believed that God is there to protect him and there's no corona that's gonna come and haunt him. Yeah, he didn't believe in corona stuff. He believed that nothing's above God. So God was going to protect them regardless. And well I just forgot to tell you guys that the video is in Swahili, so if you don't understand Swahili um we'll explain it to you so you know what we are saying what is saying and all that yeah and other thing like uh well, the funny part of the, about this uh uh the uh corona thing is like now this is a second pre uh, african president that died and they blame everything to coronavirus even the late president of uh, burundi just passed a few months ago and they also blame it on corona because he him too did not believe in coronavirus he only believed that god is the one that will protect him as well and with his country so guys let me not talk too much let's get to the video Hiki ni kitendo cha kwa lazima cha kufunga siku 40 watakaoweza Mimi ni vigumu siwezi kwa siku 40 na wala tangu nizaliwe sijawahi kufunga siku 40 inawezekana ndio maana na upate ni ukanishinda lakini watakaoweza basi muendelee ninajua hivi karibuni pia atakuwepo na mfungo wa mwezi mtukufu wa Ramadhani Tunawaomba wenzetu wa Islam waendelee kuliongea taifa na kila mmoja katika wakati wake. Mnataka kuhakikishia tutashinda. Do you want to explain to uh, the viewers exactly what McFully was saying there? Yeah, so um, he's actually telling them to first for like 40 days. Yeah. Yeah, and he's saying that he cannot do it himself, but if you can, go ahead and fast and make sure to pray for the country whenever you have time whether you're fasting or not make sure you pray for the country yeah. yes. that's basically it 
Kristo katika Mungu hakuna linalo shindikana. Mungu awabariki sana tumsifu Yesu Kristo. So I I love his speeches because they're not just um telling people what to do, where to go. You know all that speeches from president. He doesn't do that. He he's Christian, he believes that God is everywhere god is doing his job so whenever he's saying the speech he always makes sure to put god first first yeah so he doesn't just go there and start talking talking blah 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 blah, blah. no he always put god first so yeah uh, uh mcfully he was a great man he became in power in 2015 and once he became in power he never went outside of africa he only stayed in Africa because he did not believe that the Western can develop his country. Uh, he made schools free for kids. He built roads. He changed Tanzania a lot. This guy was inspiring youth a lot. And there's nobody that can talk badly about McFully because he is one of the greatest presidents that ever walked the earth. Sure. Yeah, he's, he was very powerful, just like Gaddafi, you know. Yeah, he was very powerful. And I believe if he would have stayed at least for five more years in power, he would have conquered and bring out a lot of things to African people. And his, his idea was to unite Africa to have one visa of traveling bounder, for us to have one currency, just like what? Gaddafi was planning before he died but you know when you're very smart and bright and you have those plans for your country and your continent the people that are around you they're not gonna like that because they're not for you they don't want to see that country or that continent to develop so they'll do anything in your power in order to take you out and they're gonna blame blame that cause of your death to something that you think was not dangerous so that people of your country can feel embarrassed and so you can die in shame and nobody can honor your death because you did not believe what they believe was lethal. Mark Foley was a great man. I don't believe he died with coronavirus. I believe he just died just like others great president that it took away from us. I'm not here to cause any trouble or I'm not here to blemish anybody but we all know the history it's not a secret it's not a secret this was a great man he did not deserve to die I, I love Marco Fuli because he was not intimidated by any white man like do this you have to close your borders you have to wear a mask tell your country to do this um, ask for help from white men no he was not like that he did everything by himself and whatever he couldn't do he prayed about it so he was not intimidated by nobody yeah he, he didn't care <laughs> no go ahead go ahead go ahead <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he didn't care about no other kind, the, what other countries were doing because Corona hit, so everybody was told this and this and that. But he did not follow those rules. He did what he believed. And that's why now when he died, people are saying, oh, he died with Corona. But that's not true. He did not die with Corona. And just because you don't believe in something, it doesn't mean that's what's going to kill you. So, yeah. Yeah. So, like, uh, guys, this is a sadly tragic news for the all African continent. Uh, McFully was a great leader, and uh, it's very, 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 very uh, sad, you know. But it's God that puts and it's God that takes, you know. So, uh, it's sad that all the great presidents are dying. <laughs> but that's how it's like all the good people in this world. They always they are die. the ones who go first. Yeah. 
and that's that's true actually it's logically and it's uh, it's been proven there are good people that die first then the bad one they always live longer for I mean it's 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 obvious that when we die there's a special place that we go because God always takes good ones you know but like I said prior I'm not fully gonna die for many coronavirus you know he was suffering with a uh, heart condition for a past five years now when he was in power so he probably died over that you know but I'm not gonna twist my words of what I know uh, with the propaganda of uh, Western world you know that's what that can be one of the cause you know so I'm not gonna twist my words like I said there's something out there and there's always gonna be something out there you know our continent is gonna stand taller and the continent of Africa will change somehow. We're gonna found another youth that will take over Africa. And what I believe in my own knowledge is that Africa should also have peer standard term. So in order for another youth can come and take over and lead Africa to a great nation. That's what I believe of. I cry for it. Yeah, so guys, make sure you put um, Tanzania in your prayers. Um, they are in mourning right now. Okay most parts of Africa so whenever you pray whenever whenever you can just put them in your prayers yeah and be sensitive about it yeah that's all we can say it's very sad we are very sad too that this is happening you know yeah and that's everything I think yeah that's everything and make sure to leave your comment down below and we'll see you on next video and don't forget to subscribe guys if you're new to this channel. Yeah. So take care of yourself. God bless. And we're gonna learn together.